I'm joined by Sian Wong, expert in fusion cocktails. Hey Sian, how are you doing? Hi, really well. How are you, Amy? I'm good, I'm good. Do you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself? Love to. I'm a drinks consultant and bartender. I'm from the northeast of England, born from a second generation uh, Chinese Hong Kong immigrants. And I've had uh, many stints in top 50 cocktail bars from around the world, Melbourne, Sydney, Paris, um, but London has always been my base for drinks and um, drinks making. And how did you get into fusion cocktails? Like, what inspired you? Um, I guess I've always just loved um, food and flavors. Growing up, I traveled a lot. So I got to experience lots of different cultures and lots of different cuisines. And I really enjoyed coming back from my, my trips and my adventures and sharing these flavors and experiences with people around me. And when we're talking flavors, would we be talking about things like perhaps a uh, lychee martini cocktail, that kind of vibe? That is a really good example of um, a very well-known Southeast Asian cocktail, but it has been around for almost 20 years now, maybe longer. And I think we can do better from, you know, all the resources we have and all the flavors that are at our disposal. We can probably make it a bit more complex. Talking of complex and flavors and things, yes. I'm very excited to hear like, what's going on here? What have we got? So um, I brought my own drinks, I mean. Okay. Um, <laughs> a couple for you guys to try. No. The first one being banana, peanut butter, condensed milk, rum, punch, okay. um, which is my personal favorite. I also have two delicious rice-based cocktails. We've got a roasted rice or burnt rice, old-fashioned, and then um, we've got uh, a rice martini cocktail. Okay. And lastly, on these guys, uh, we've got a Negroni. So it's based on a classic Negroni, mm -hmm. but this is white and we're using Sue's for the bitter element, of course, because it's a white Negroni, but also with some ginseng. And then lastly, we're going to have some celebratory yogurt soju champagne cocktail. I'm so excited to try some of these. Let me try this bad boy. Yes, please. Okay. I love milk punch. I've heard that you made a lactose free one recently, which yeah, is very clever. I did. So this one is, um, unfortunately, is with dairy. So people who are lactose intolerant, I would probably stay away. It's based on a, a drink called a Hong Kong milk tea. So all over Southeast Asia, they have um, a milk tea. It's kind of like the national drink. And it's like from, um, post-colonial times okay. when the British came and had tea and they were like, oh, you're used to drinking it with milk. We don't do that. Okay, let's give that a go. And then now it's kind of become a national drink. But also with the inclusion of banana and peanuts, it's a breakfast kind of dessert situation, yeah, which is yeah, very common yeah. in a lot of the dishes over there. So instead of using butter and cream and those type of sugary things, they use like beans and peanuts as Welcome. like a dessert. There's also some lovely spices in there. So we've got cloves, cardamom, cinnamon, um, and then some black tea, which is obviously where the teacup element comes in. Mm -hmm. but it was created for a modern Taiwanese eatery concept. It's also really great to kind of pre-bottle and give away to friends and family, so this will be their Christmas present this year. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Mmm. Is it in a glass? Yep, that's, that's it. Now I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> It's sweet enough for my palate, but not overpoweringly sweet. sweet. It's yeah. nice and balanced. It is just delicious. So these are some really exciting flavors here, but how do you go about, you know, making that match with the, the Western palate? How do we make our guests over here understand and enjoy all that there is to offer? Quite simply from um, creating something familiar that they can associate with. So you're kind of forming a bridge. The food and drink does such a good job yeah. of like breaking down those boundaries and letting culture kind of speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. And the cocktail world is no exception to that. So I've paired this sweetened probiotic yogurt drink that every child in Southeast Asia, no matter whether you're from Japan, South Korea, Taiwan will instantly associate with their childhood with something that we're very familiar with in Europe um, with some French champagne. There's something very, very recognizable about a champagne cocktail. You're like, oh, that's like celebratory, that's mm -hmm. going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. And then if you're coming from Southeast Asia and you're not aware of champagne or the wine culture, you have the yogurt, you have those flavors to transport you back okay. and it's bridging those two worlds. So like, can we can we taste it then? Is yes, it time? absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so first I'm just going to pour some yogurt flavored Sochu. So sochu is a distilled Eastern spirit, usually made from rice, but this is made from sweet potato and it's flavored with yogurt flavor. So it's almost like a yogurty fat wash. And I'm just going to top it up with some French bubbles. Nice. Bubbles are always a good idea. Look at them. I know, look at them go. And then just for some 
more fun, we're gonna add the probiotic yogurt aloe vera foam. So you basically just drink through the foam. Okay. It's kind of like a dessert and an aperitif in one. Talking my language. All right. Okay. Chin chin. Thank you so much. Okay. You're Ooh. very welcome. Oh. Good. It's tasty, mm, right? I see what you mean about bringing those flavours together. I'm getting this this probiotic yogurt. Creaminess. Proyo, some could even say. I'm getting the nice, delicious bubbles from the champagne. The champagne. Mm -hmm. And that foam, I'd offer you some, but I don't want to. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mine. You enjoy that. Oh, man. Well, thank you so much, Diane. It has been an absolute adventure. So glad you enjoy the Proyo fizz. Thank well you, coined. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>